Hello beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful Twin Flame reading. I do hope you're well and you're staying focused, believing and trusting in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that is within you. So I'm going to be bringing in the Divine Abundance Oracle deck to see what the current energies are for Twin Flames and how these energies are supporting you, beautiful soul. I will get messages from your other self, from your Twin Flame, to see what wants to be expressed in this energy today. And at the end, I'm going to get messages from God, from higher power, the universe, whatever word resonates with you, to see what it is that you need to know to give you some support and guidance about your journey, what you need to hear right now to help you keep moving forward, staying in your truth, trusting in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that is within you. So let's see what's going to come through. I hope you're all having a lovely weekend. Next week is a big week because beautiful Liz from Guide by Angels is doing her live event so it's very very exciting I'm going to be going on a short break to London as well so that's going to be really nice for me and I'm going to be actually meeting some of you beautiful souls if you're actually going um, and yeah it's been a long time that I've known about this live event and I can't believe how quickly it's come around if you are interested in going to beautiful Liz from Guide by Angels live event um, all the information is in the description box down below. You can, still can purchase tickets and you can head over to, ch to Liz's channel as well and all the information will be there in the description box too. But I'm very excited. Um, so let's see what's coming through for the energies today. What are the current energies for Twin Flames and how are these energies supporting the beautiful soul that is watching? limitless understanding that you are a limitless being and for some time you have been putting limits on yourself see yourself open to receive in the most miraculous ways the divine can use anything and anyone <laughs> and we've got throat chakra coming through big time in this reading as well setting yourself free <laughs> expressing yourself as well because you may have been holding back for some time um, because of these limits that you've been putting on yourself, because you didn't believe that you were worthy of expressing um, your feelings, your views on things. For some of you, this is going to be where you're feeling lighter. You're feeling like, yes, <laughs> you're so in tune with God, with universe, higher power. And for some of you, this is just a reminder that you are limitless. And the only person that is putting limits on yourself that's restricting you is yourself. Um, and worth. <laughs> Understanding how worthy you actually are. And you have had such a low self-esteem um, throughout your life. And that is all changing. You have been worthy to belong to love all along without any need to improve. In fact, you are love itself. And for... <laughs> Again, you haven't felt worthy of receiving love and you've been pushing yourself so hard, doing ridiculous things for you to be able to actually receive love and to feel worthy. You felt as if you have to be in control and if I do this and if I do that, that is when you're good enough. And what you're realising now is, as you are right now, being your true authentic self, the unconditional love that you are, you are so worthy and you're not expected <laughs> to do anything. And so that comes from the wounded divine masculine as well, that energy within us where we feel as if we've got to keep taking action. If we do this, it's going to get better or we're going to get better. It, just this self-improvement all the time. But and obviously self-improvement, becoming the best version of yourself is... A wonderful thing but sometimes we're coming from mind ego we're fighting we're trying to change things about ourselves because we're wanting to receive love and the whole point of this is about knowing that you're worthy as you are you don't have to fight for attention you don't have to push yourself so hard when you're actually being the best version of yourself there is no harsh conversations with yourself, putting yourself under pressure. You're just open 
to receive without listening to that chatter that's coming from that lower energy and I feel as if you're really feeling your worth now and you're moving forwards fearlessly because we have this tiger you are staying so focused um, and this is a deep orange that's coming through here which is about the sacral chakra so you could be feeling so much more creative opening up to new opportunities and allowing your creativity you know to express that um, as well so let's see what else comes through and we've got heart sharp sharp sorry coming through we've got the beautiful dragonfly here liberation the, the doubts and the fears still come up you don't believe anymore that that they are you so yeah you're, you're not believing that you are all of those doubts those fears <laughs> you really are changing your view of yourself and you're feeling free <laughs> The doubts, the fear, they come in. The chatter does go on in your head, but you're noticing them, you're aware of them and you're allowing them to go, which is now making you feel so much lighter and as if you can fly. So everything that you're doing in your life right now is from this place of solid foundation because of this awareness, because you know how worthy you are and you don't have to work so hard, you haven't got to fight so hard to receive anything. But as you are right now, is enough. You're rising above and seeing through the pain, the illusions of the self-talk and things that have been going on recently in your life, you're seeing through it because you're so connected and in tune with yourself and with God, our power and divine abundance. You're receiving divine abundance and it's coming in in such magical ways. <laughs> and nobody else would understand what this divine abundance means to you, how it's actually presented itself. You're actually smiling to yourself because you know it's God, the universe, the angels supporting you and bringing this divine abundance in. You're so very in tune, beautiful soul, because you're in your heart space. Your heart is wide open to receive because you're knowing your worth. And you're, you're setting yourself free, you're, you're limitless, <laughs> you're creating. You were born to align with love's will. Follow the tail and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be the abundance, not to choose it. Yeah, you're feeling abundant. You're grateful. You're content with who you are, content with your life. This is absolutely magnificent energy. And I really do hope that you are feeling this way and this is resonating with you. And if you have clicked on this reading and you're not feeling that way this is just a reminder it's only you that's actually blocking yourself from this divine abundance because you're putting limits on yourself because you're not understanding how worthy you are and you're believing the doubts the fears that chatter that does go on in your head so you've got to see through that and that's when you will receive infinite supply infinite abundance and infinite supply did come through in the reading recently as well so i'm going to see what your other self what your twin flame wants you to know but this is absolutely amazing and that new moon in taurus has created so many shifts for us and when we're going through it when we're actually allowing ourselves to feel those deep emotions that we've suppressed and we're not unaware of it is very scary, but I feel as if you know that it's happening for a reason. Now you have this awareness and you're just allowing yourself to feel so deeply um, because you're so in tune with God, with higher power. So I'm bringing in messages from your other self, my deck, to see what wants to come through from your twin flame. And remember, whatever you're facing within yourself, whatever you're clearing, beautiful soul that's watching, this is happening to your twin flame because you are your twin flame. You're one energy, you're one soul, and it may be through different experiences, different locations, different times, 
but whatever you're doing for yourself you're doing for your twin flame so this one flipped out when i look into your eyes i can see through to your soul yeah i see the truth when i look into your eyes the beauty that you are and the beauty that i am the truth of who i am i saw your potential and you were holding back so much and that did used to really frustrate me um but yeah when i looked into your eyes it set me on fire it made me feel quite frightened as well because i saw the truth of who i am it brought a lot up within me and your eyes are so beautiful they're so powerful they've got this glow to them they just shine so brightly i could look into your eyes all day all night <laughs> Let's see what else comes through from your twin flame and what they want to share in this energy today. I can't put into words how much I love you. I'm never going to be able to put into words how much I love you. And that is because they found love for themselves through you when they looked into your eyes. And you can't tell anybody how much you love your twin flame. Nobody understands this journey. And nobody needs to understand it. It's just about you being at peace with this journey and for you to be open <laughs> on this journey. Your, your divine counterpart loves you the same way as you love them. And they don't show that in the physical. It's very confusing at times, but they certainly do. And when you're in your heart space, the green here, <clears throat> when you're setting yourself free, when you're not listening to those doubts, the fear, the chatter in your head you know how much they love you because you've got it within yourself you can feel it when i listen to music it always reminds me of you yeah so they're listening to music and the reason why they're so connected with music is because some of the lyrics of songs and the, the, the music is, is is expressing how they're actually feeling they're resonating with it huh. and music is so important that's where we are in tune with ourselves, when we are being the unconditional love we are when we're listening to music. We are free and we're really cherishing every moment of listening to music, moving our bodies and the words um, from different songs that they're listening to is, you know, helping them describe how much they love you. It's a feeling and it's so very deep. I want to take you somewhere romantic. I cannot believe but that's at the bottom of the deck again. We had, I want to cook you a romantic meal. And we've recently had, I want to take you somewhere romantic. And we have it again. So they do want to take you somewhere very special. <laughs> to just be with you. Not, you know, necessarily having any conversation or, you know, doing anything. Just to be with you. Experiencing that bliss. That pure energy. And there may be somewhere in mind, because this has come out frequently, that you know that you're going to go with your twin flame, um, with your other self. But this is about them wanting to be close to you, to be able to look into your eyes <laughs> and maybe to listen to music when you're going somewhere that's sacred to you and them. Um, it could be very simple and very peaceful or it could be something it could be a traditional romantic where you know cooking a meal going to a beautiful restaurant a candle lit dinner or it could be going away on a trip together um just put it into your situation what romantic means to you and i've said recently many times you know it isn't about the romance that isn't the focus um, but we do hear so much of that on the internet and it, it does get very confusing and it does get very upsetting at times because it's like, well, I know it's not about the romance, but I do feel the romance. You can experience romantic times and you can go to romantic places with your twin flame once you understand what the actual journey is about, when you've been within yourself, when you've been facing yourself, when you're taking responsibility of your energy and you know the reason why this physical person's come into your life and who they are <laughs> and what it means um, and that you are one with them and that they're not separate from you. 
So that's beautiful messages. So next I'm going to get messages from God, from the universe, higher power, the angels, whatever word resonates with you to see what, you know, the support and the guidance is that you need to hear right now. So I'm going to use the Oracle of the Fairies. So what's coming through? What is it the beautiful soul needs to know to give them that strength to keep moving forward? But I feel as if you found that strength that is within you and you're very in tune so much more peaceful things are settling down for you lots of change I feel happening but you're so much more settled and calm because you're in tune with God you're feeling that support you don't feel alone you know that you're protected that you're safe so let's see what's coming through, please. Nice, clear message. What is the support and the guidance about your journey at the moment? What's going on? Nice, clear message. Shine from within, yeah. We can shine when we're feeling good within ourselves, when we're content and happy with who we are. We're on fire. We can do anything because we know that we're worthy of receiving. We know that we're limitless beings. We don't hold back. We're just excited for life. Looks are only skin deep. True beauty shines from within. This is a time for self-acceptance and revealing your true beauty. Yeah. And when you understand how connected with that purity of who you are, that energy, within yourself that divine masculine the divine feminine energy when they're supporting each other within yourself everybody notices a difference in you you do shine everyone's so drawn to you and a big part of this journey is self-acceptance and to release superficial all of that you've had to release and that personally for me has been a bit of a struggle to release those beliefs that you've got to be a certain way to be loved and trying to do this trying to do that <laughs> which comes with um, what we said here with worth as well but when you release those su superficial beliefs thinking that you've got to be all these different things you do feel so free <laughs> and at the bottom of the deck is moderation so this is a time to do everything in moderation and that's when things do flow for us as well. And that's balance as well. It's not a time to overindulge in one particular thing. You'll know what it is and you know that you shouldn't be doing it so often. Everything in moderation. So, so for some of you, you could be overindulging things that you're consuming, you know, what you're actually putting into your body. Or it could be where you're overdoing it. You're, you're exhausting yourself. You're over-exercising or... You know that you should be doing more exercise. Um, it's so different for everybody. But this is a time to, you know, whatever it is that you're overdoing is going to be shown to you at this time. And it's about you trusting, trusting that niggle, you know, listening to your higher self, your true self that's saying, you know, you shouldn't be doing this so often. Everything flows beautifully in moderation. You and your twin flame are starting to shine from what's within you. Not focusing on your outer appearance and things that are going on outside of you. It's about you radiating your pure energy, love for yourself out into the universe. And it is so powerful. Um, and through that, you, you do glow, you do look good. <laughs> and people are like, oh my goodness, you know, as if you've had some kind of makeover or you, you start looking as if you have had a makeover or you, you look younger, you just look refreshed because the happiness that you found within yourself is oozing off of you. <laughs> it is noticeable to others. So I really do hope that this reading resonates with you um, and you are feeling in tune with yourself and with God and you're feeling lighter and free. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day or evening, the rest of this weekend. And most importantly, stay focused, believe and trust in that deepener knowing, that unexplainable love that's within you. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and you understand me. And make sure you press that notification bell so my readings reach you. 
and I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light, and I love you so very much. See ya. Oh, that's your soul saying.